Welcome back to Alone With You. Let's sync our mission data with the AI core and then speak with John Lumumba in the Holism Chamber. Looks like I've got another unfortunate discovery to report tonight. I'll sync the rest of your scan data for now. Time here is winding down, so I hope you can make the most of tonight. Nella, it's you. Listen, before you say anything, I really wanted to go over something. As a way of smoothing over what we... Uh, wait, what is it? You look like something serious has happened. Come on, be honest with me. Uh... I found Jean. You found... Oh, I see. You found the other me. Judging by the look on your face, I assume the news isn't good. That's okay. I'm ready. Just tell me. I... I thought it wouldn't matter if this happened, but... Well, I don't feel so great about it now. You know, inside. It feels like... I feel almost sick. I don't know what I was thinking would happen, but somehow, knowing that the other me is gone, that adds some real finality to all this. But... Okay, let's think about this positively here. At least now we know, but please, tell me. What was I doing out there in the lab? <laughs> you did it! You mean solving the fuel problem? That's... that's so good to hear. But I just can't help and think about all the others. We all had to do what was required, but the fact that they won't see the results of their work terrible. Truly terrible. No matter what anyone thought of me, I know that I respected and admired all of them. I only hope they understood that, understood that in those final moments. Well, uh, now we can focus on what's important. Taking this discovery and applying it to the work I'm doing here. If the other Jean and his team manage to create a newer, better energy source in those final days, you'll be all set. I just need to work with the AI to figure out how to modify the escape ship to accept the new source and regulate it. I... He... He must have known. He must have known that it wasn't possible to get everyone off, but if anyone could, it would be worth it. I'm confident now that I can finish what I was brought here to do. Get you home safely. And that makes me so very happy. energy source. Of course, you want to know how it will help you get back home. Let me explain. Since the current fuel system in the escape ship isn't functioning, you won't get very far, especially without energy. This new better energy source is less volatile, and we can control it more finely, to give an extra boost to the engines you see. That will help counter the increase in gravity. We'll also let you sip energy longer, so the ship can travel further without depleting. This is truly great news, but it came at such a high price. I am, however, so very happy that I can use this to help you now, Nella. The more time we've spent together these past weeks, the more I knew I wanted to do right by you. Uh... Talk about past regrets, I guess. We did talk about that, didn't we? Since then, I've really been reconsidering a few things. My work here, in this chamber, has taught me something. That life is literally what you make of it. Attitude is everything. I always clung to regrets, to things I should have done or should have said, and maybe that's why I did what I did in the caves. 
but in the end, it wasn't really regret that drove the other me, was it? It couldn't have been. You can't find drive like that in the past. No, it must have been hope. Just like I'm helping you now, with everything that's going on around us. Hope is driving me. Hope that you'll get off here and home safely. And, I suppose, hope that our work here will live on and be remembered. So really, I don't think I see things the way I used to. Too much has happened these past few weeks. Uh, let's talk about Beth and Bin. Oh no. Did you find out what happened to them? I knew that Bin and Beth had a thing, but they were always discreet about it. Some of the others weren't happy about it, I know. Bin was my number one. Without him, I couldn't do anything. Obviously, he followed me until the end. The real Jean probably didn't even realize the rift that opened up between them as a result of this, a result of his single-mindedness. He, uh, no, I, I destroyed so many lives. I was trying to do good, to help everybody, but I was so blind to everything around me. He felt me see this fault in me, and now that I know, I won't make the same mistake again. Thank you, Nella. Because of you, I have renewed focus and real perspective, and I'm going to use it to help you. Well, I suppose you should get to work on improving your escape ship. Time is running out, and we're so, so close. I'll be seeing you soon, Nella. I just know it. And thanks again. You've really had to deal with a lot recently. I'm afraid we must continue our work, however, so please come see me. Well, we've only got one place left to visit, so I think I know where I'm going. To the Agrodomes. Uh, one more area you need to travel to? Mm -hmm. uh, I've continued to monitor the planet's condition since we shut down the terraforming fields. I think it was the right choice. But I'm starting to pick up terrible readings from within the planet's core. Things are coming to a head now. There's no point waiting around today. Gotcha. Is running out, and you need to be prepared for your trip in the escape ship. As it stands, we still don't have the means to guarantee a food supply. This might be our last hope. Find out if the team completed their research to combat the toxins. Habitat Dome. The researchers sometimes lived in this dormitory during their shifts, since they needed to tend to plant production so closely. Privacy was important, so living quarters were all equipped with passcode locks. They were usually numeric, uh, numeric if that helps. Okay, so no letters. Gotcha. This plant's moving. Hello. Weird. None of the others are moving. The plant looks like it's there purely for decoration, but your scan reveals it's been genetically modified in subtle ways. It probably withstood the toxins that have polluted the agrodomes for a time, but its modifications didn't work completely.
Yeah, what's with these two wiggling plants? Planet said its gene altered to test its resilience. It should be dead, considering its exposure to the vines and toxins in that area. Still, we can't use it. It's been corrupted like all the others, just not as much. He's tall. Ah, huh. Leslie's quarters. Password required, of course. Let's go to the West Hall. The stock is unusable to us for food production and synthesis. It appears to have been modified in an attempt to fight the invading toxins. Mm -hmm. Wasn't quite successful. All right, pretty similar. Lots of experiments to try to make them withstand the toxins. None of them quite successful. The inhospitable landscape likely appeared almost beautiful once, due to its alien nature. But now I imagine it is lonely and terrifying. It is. It's frightful. No doubt it is. And it shows great courage that you continue with our desperate plan despite that. I'm grateful. Dale Zurakowski's quarters. Actually, Hainsworth also. All require passwords, so... That's not working. Let's go to the East Hall. Christ, everything's passworded. Mm -hmm. Nothing particularly interesting. Here we go, Matsuko Bradley's quarters. Oh my, looks like that part of the dormitory sustained substantial damage. It's a good thing you keep your suit on at all times. The damaged data pad belonged to Matsuko Bradley, judging by the credentials stored within it. It contains an entry that I can still access. Things are dire here. We know now that Ashley was the one who convinced Miss... Uh, Leslie, <laughs> just gonna say Leslie again, to change direction in our attempt to deal with the toxin. But I think she was wrong. Many of us do. We made some breakthroughs, yes, but Ashley's techniques mean our research, research is sloppy, and we aren't seeing results. Miss Leslie attempts to lead us, but even I can tell she regrets giving control to Ashley. I just hope it's not too late. Missing something? Is that every way I can go? I must be missing something. Everything else is passworded, but I haven't received anything that would tell me a password. The store has been reset to the default. Oh, default security code. Which should be numeric. See if there are any important numbers anywhere. Um. Important numbers, like written on the wall or something? I don't think there's anything in this data pad. Well, I can't even look at it again. Here we go. I didn't realize this was actually a place you can go. Toilets. The damage has caused overflow from the dormitory's waste systems. It must smell awful in there. Your helmet should help to filter the worst of it. Structural damage there is quite severe, although thankfully exposure to the outside environment has been minimal. Standard issue container of soaps, disinfectants, and creams was provided to all of you. That one spilled open. The containers were all marked with batch and set numbers so they could be tracked. The batch number on this looks to be 12. Okay, this has got to be related to a password. 
12. I mean, surely that's not an entire password though, right? I mean, it's two digits. So this one, yeah, so this one has its own unique passcode, but the other one on the right side apparently was just reset to whatever the default was. Ah, here's another place, kitchen. Yeah, it's really easy to miss these places. It's so hard to see the entrances when they're kind of behind stuff. Old-fashioned physical whiteboard that the colonists used to keep track of chores while they stayed at the dorm. Written over the minutiae of chore schedule is a note. Days since working food processor, 24. All right, it's got to be the other, probably half the password. So 12 and 24, or 24 and 12. It appears the colonists here really struggled with survival once the toxins invaded the food supply. That food processor has been heavily damaged by exposure and general disrepair. The colonists wouldn't have been able to use it for some time. That shared pantry has been thoroughly picked through and used up. By the looks of it, even scraps of flammable material were used to make a crude fire. The situation must have been quite extreme indeed if the residents had to attempt such dangerous tactics. Now, is it just that one that's been reset to the default? Like, what about these? Oh, this one also default. Oh, hold on. I think there's another place I missed over here. Oh, no, this one also requires a password. So there's two doors that we should be able to open now because they're reset to default, and two that have a specific password. Alright, let's try it. So 12, 24, 24, 12, there we go. Miss Hainsworth's room appears to be heavily compromised. There might still be some of her effects here though. It appears to be a physical reproduction of a photo of chief researcher Hainsworth's parents. It was taken back on earth. Her mother and father look somewhat sullen, if I may say so. A written note says, Keep trying. More research notes by Miss Hainsworth. They're highly damaged and they must have been problematic for she's crossed out much of the content and abandoned them. The only parts I can decipher for you read, This team needs me. We have never been closer to solving this problem. We've also never been so effective. Leslie's bleeding heart management was such a waste all these years. We could have achieved so much more than we did. Even the loser Zerikowski has put in great work. When he hasn't been uh, pining over Bradley. Just this week, he's isolated 33 potential strains. Leslie couldn't believe it. 33 is double what he was doing under her. Another set of private notes by Miss Hainsworth. They read, Thought I cracked it. Twice. Time constraints making checks difficult. Team is slowing me down. Leslie looks like she regrets our agreement. But she's wrong. She's always been wrong. Stupid woman. She's locked herself in her quarters for weeks. Rarely comes out. What is she doing in there? She really has passed the torch. We'll be better off for it. Dangerous out, but I can't be here with those mewling geneticists any longer. Returning to Research Dome to finally make this work. They'll see. Well, I seem to have figured out the default security code. Why don't you see if that works on any other doors that use it?
2412. Oops. Mr. Jaeger's quarters. Uh, Jaeger. Jaeger? J yeah, definitely Jaeger. Almost completely overtaken by vines and those flowers. These ones seem a little different. They appear to be a different pigment than the ones that were in the Acroponics Dome two weeks ago. Have they been affected differently, or were there more experiments going on here? How quaint. Production Supervisor Jaeger kept an old-fashioned physical book in which to write his personal thoughts. Most of the pages have been ruined by exposure, but a few passages here and there remain legible. A.H., let's be Ashley Hainsworth, is running herself ragged. I worry for her. But I worry for us all. We're tired and no closer to a cure. The boss is holed up in her quarters, doing who knows what. Things have gotten out of control. Don't know if I'll ever recover. I backed Ashley. I believed in her. Now, though, I wonder. Should I have? Fairly new video game system. Mr. Eager must have enjoyed these kinds of distractions. It's long dead, unfortunately. There's a note stuck to the back that reads, Try to beat my score, buddy. You'll see it at the very top. Dale. Underneath that is a hastily written addendum. Something something plus 66. The numbers look like different handwriting. Obviously another password. Plus 66. So, what's the top score plus 66? So what's the top score? What's the other number? information to solve it? Or am I just missing something? I can't think of how to solve it, but I also don't think there's anywhere else to go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, score. Um, it's probably the number of strains they found, right? 33? So 33 plus 66. All right. I wouldn't be for this, right? No. Ninety-nine. Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't just be two digits, so it'd probably not pluses and literally add them together, but rather add them, like, con concatenate them together. So, 3366? Yep. Oh, even without a scan, I can tell that something is not right in there. Oh. I think they're holding hands. It appears, Nella, that you have discovered the corpses of geneticists Dale Zerkowski and Matsuko Bradley. I'm sorry for this new grisly discovery. The, the two appear to have been entwined in some fashion at the time of their death. The remains are still holding hands, it would seem. Each one of them seems to have carved something into the floor beneath them. <laughs> they carved a password into the floor? Why? Alright, 46... 92. 4692. Looks like that's it in here. Oh, how convenient of them to scrawl the password to Leslie's place on the floor.
4692. Well, that is impressive. It appears Miss Leslie has been quite busy in there. There are dozens of plant specimens on that shelf. Little sheets of paper have been stuck to each, and what looks like test results have been recorded. In lieu of access to a full lab, it seems Miss Leslie resorted to simpler techniques to keep her research going. These are musty notes that Miss Leslie kept while conducting her experiments here in this room. They span almost two years and have faded badly. Here's what little I can decipher for you. Work continues as, as Ashley leads the team. Progress is slow. I feel betrayed. But worse, I feel ashamed. That was my team, and I let Ashley persuade me. I know now more than ever, she was wrong. But it's too late. Florent is gone, and Arlo too. The next passage reads, Six months of work, only glimmers of progress. Ashley has not returned from the research dome. Dale and Matsuko continue with their research. And another. Everyone is gone now. It's just me. Don't know how long since I've eaten, but I'm on the right track. My methods are slower, but they're better. It is so clear to me now. I should have trusted myself. The team is gone because of me. Maybe everyone is. I've put everything into this new specimen. The answer seems so obvious now. The flowers. The flowers that grew after the toxins took over. We assumed they were part of the vines, part of the disease. But they weren't. They were their own little parasite, their own reaction, nature finding that balance again. But nature wasn't quick enough to save us. The specimen will take days more to mature. Before I know, I may not make it until then, but at least I know I tried. It appears that Miss uh, Leslie had a change of heart and finally fought back and believed in herself. So a lot of equipment collected there, including many devices scavenged from other parts of the colony. Enough to run a complete, albeit small, lab. It's... it's remarkable. Your scan indicates that plant is entirely healthy and free of the toxin that poisoned the agrodomes. This is what Miss Leslie must have been working on so diligently. With this plant, we can finally produce a clean, stable food supply for you. It's truly beautiful, especially considering the limited conditions in, was, in which Miss Leslie researched and grew this magnificent specimen. Oh, that's Leslie's body. Stay the remains indicate that she was alive long after the rest of the colonists died, likely by at least a year or so in 2063. What a terribly lonely time that must have been. Obviously she had been busy in there up until her death. She clearly was working on something she felt was very important. Alright, we've got a food supply. I feel awful for having to put you through this, you know. With today's revelations and the increasing instability of the planet, I know things are very stressful. I hope you can break the news tactfully tonight.
It's time. Oh, hey there, Nella. I was just running some new simulations based on that research you brought me before. I've made some splendid progress, and I'm close to narrowing down the new formula for your escape ship. But, uh, you look like you want to talk about something else. What's on your mind? Uh, I found you. You... you did. I see. Well, I suppose we both knew this was coming. Let's hear it, then. There's no point in hiding the details. My, my. I... I must admit, I'm rather unsettled by all this. I don't know what I expected, but to finally hear it... It's just very surreal, if you understand me. You said you found me in my quarters in the Habitat Center, and with some of the others. We must have known things were going to end if we retreated there. That all sounds very sad, having to hole up like that. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? Yeah, you solved it. I... So I did. Looks like I finally figured out how to combat the invasive vine species that threaten so much of our work. When the vines began invading the domes, we weren't sure if we were dealing with a local species or a mutation. Before we knew it, they were everywhere, and our crops started to die, and we couldn't seem to reverse the effects of the new vines. It was maddening. All the conflict between our crew, all of the doubt. It was all because of this one problem we couldn't solve. What troubles me the most is thinking about what everyone else went through. What they thought of me. I guess I can't change that. But at least now I know it wasn't for nothing. I'm sure the plant. Or talk about the plant. I did it, didn't I? The little plant. It survived, didn't it? It wasn't affected by the native vines that ruined so much of what we had done. It's a miracle that the other me managed to figure it out. So many variables, tests, moving targets, and it all came down to one single plan. We're so fortunate that the AI sent you back there. Who knows how long that plant would have survived if you had waited any longer. But nature is... it's remarkable. Even all the way out here, with all that's gone wrong, we were able to find something that worked. It gives me hope for the future. Even when life was so fragile, there's always a way. I'm not sure where the notes. These notes. If what I'm saying here is true, I... I finally... I finally did it? I finally turned it... I finally turned it around? Yes? Didn't... I mean, we just talked about that, right? Am I missing something, or is this just going over the same thing? Yeah? Yeah, you figured out the plant thing. Uh-huh. That's so weird. The dialogue just, like, repeats itself in a different way. Now we can set the filters to understand what's actually harmful and what isn't, and since the plant you found is resistant to the vines, you can grow it. I can run simulations here to test efficiency and viability in different mediums, but you'll be able to harvest material for the food processors now. That means your ship can run a good long while with a food supply. I can't guarantee any of it will taste good, but it'll keep you fed until you reach Earth. Oh, Nella, this is so wonderful. The work we did at those domes. It won't be for nothing. And you can take the reports home, so others will know. I know I should be happiest that you're going to get the help you need, but... I must admit, knowing I didn't die for nothing, you have no idea how happy that makes me. I told you before that I didn't think it was uh, I was a good leader. As good a leader as I should have been. And with our situation, I lost control. I let Ashley change the tone and style of our work. But I was right. It just wasn't possible to see it at the time. Frantically rushing for results wasn't the answer but I didn't trust myself enough to stand up for that. I hope the others can forgive her. And me. 
Bearded Grit. I suppose so. In the end. But I wish the other Leslie could have stuck to her guns and been the leader she needed to be. For everyone's sake. Well, I can beat that person now. I can do what is necessary and excel at it. No more doubts. I'm going to take this information and get your ship ready. Anything else you want to go over before I continue work? Your garden? I can explain how this environment works, sure. In the simulated place, I can configure seeds, growing conditions, and other factors, and run lifetime models very quickly. I've been using it, much like the other Mew is running old-fashioned experiments to try to narrow down viable plans for processing. But with the new information you gave me, I know what to look for, and what to change, so now I can focus on maximizing yield and all that. Without that knowledge, who knows how long it would have taken me to figure out, if ever, even in here. Let's talk about the ship. Okay, how she can help with the ship. Uh, ship is a portable version of the food processor system used here in the colony. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing too interesting. Matsuko, or Matusko? That was Matsuko, Matusko. I don't know. Oh no! You say you found them together? Oh my! I guess Dale finally had the courage to approach Matsuko. It is Matsuko. I think it was just misspelled before. I'm sure with a crumbling situation they had a lot of time to spend together. Some people might be cynical about it, but I just can't. Maybe Matsuko finally realized that Dale's love was real, and it was a comfort she was willing to accept. It's quite possible the other me didn't even notice it was going on, especially not if she was focused on her last ditch research. But at the end of all that, at the end of everything, really, isn't finding some kind of love a great thing? I think so. Of course it is. The other me. She had to die alone. There's no... that's no comfort, believe me. I don't think anyone truly wants that. And with that, I think it's time I apply this research and get back to work. Hopefully I will soon have what the AI needs to reconfigure the ship done so much for me today, just by coming here and telling me the truth. I want to thank you for that. We'll meet again, I hope, when this is all over and you have to leave. But until then, goodbye. I guess, I guess we have no choice in what we need to do today. Come and see me right away. Yep, we have to go to the last place that they did not want me to visit. I think it was Colony B. Well, I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.